Hi guys, how you doing? Um, a couple of videos ago, uh, Sir Joust commented, we were talking about Pugilism and Boxing, and he asked the question, do I consider boxing to be WMA? Uh, WMA, for those of you that don't know, a uh, Western Martial Art. Um, Western Martial Arts is a really broad term. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think it's a particularly helpful one. But to answer the question in its original and, and strictest form, yes, yes I do consider boxing to be a Western martial art. Do I consider boxing to be a martial art? Yes. It's very much sport orientated. Um, but that doesn't necessarily stop it being a martial art. Judo is sport orientated and I consider judo to be a martial art. Um, so yes. Boxing is, without a doubt, a Western martial art. It originated in the Western world, whatever that is, and it's definitely a fighting system. Possibly a number of different fighting systems. But what I thought might be a more interesting question is, do I consider boxing to be part of HEMA? Um, and that, I think, is, isn't quite as easy to, to answer. Uh, for those of you that are unaware, HEMA stands for Historical European Martial Art. And that's the kind of the fashionable umbrella term for what I do and what various people and groups around the world are doing. Um, there's a definite difference between Western martial arts and, and historical European martial arts. Um, firstly, the fact that we're talking about European as opposed to Western makes it a little bit more specific and it's easier for us to then get a handle on it. Uh, boxing definitely still fits that category, but it's this historical badge, if you like, that makes it a little bit trickier. Obviously, boxing has a historical lineage. Boxing evolved from the, the Marcus of Queensbury's rules evolved from the London Prize Ring, which evolved from Broughton's rules, which evolved from the early era of pugilism, where effectively rules were decided uh, per fight, if you like. So we've got this historical lineage that goes back hundreds of years, um, and, and more, just because we don't have a record of, of the sort of thing that was being done before people like Fig, doesn't mean that it wasn't going on. You can arguably trace it back through to the, the Company of Masters and the prize play scheme that was taken, taken on during the Elizabethan period is, is, is roughly when it died out. They had a um, a license to, to act as a guild under Henry VIII, but that had expired by the time um, Elizabeth took the throne and it wasn't renewed, and that, that's a whole, whole video all of its own. But it was a fairly formalised system of combat that they had with grading systems and so on and so forth. So we can arguably trace boxing all the way back to that, but that doesn't really, doesn't, doesn't quite tick the right boxes. Classical pugilism definitely a historical European martial art. Boxing, maybe not. And for me, the reason is, is pretty simple. It's not, it's not about lineage. Because we can look at sport fencing and see that this has a lineage that takes us all the way back to, to the early days, some of the earliest fencing manuscripts that, that we know of. But lineage isn't, isn't the important bit. What's important is that the art itself is historical. Um, if we look at something like Cornish wrestling, there are people practicing Cornish wrestling that were taught it by people before them and we can trace this lineage back and it goes back a long long way and the art now looks very similar, we believe, to the art back then. We don't know for certain but we can say from some of the the documentation we have, and early early video footage, early photographs that Cornish wrestling looked like it did a hundred years ago, definitely, um, and it looked and sounds like it looked like it did hundreds of years before that. So we can say that Cornish wrestling is pretty much the same as it used to be. Therefore, it's a historical art. But modern boxing, I don't think, looks or anything at all like it used to do in the days of men. Mendoza, of Jackson, of Cribb, of Molyneux, these people, I think what they were doing was significantly different to what people like um, Mayweather are doing today. So I think it's an interesting one, 
it's arguable in both directions, but I tend to, to fall on the side of saying that boxing is not a historical European martial art. It is a martial art, and it is a European martial art. Arguably, it's an English martial art. But I don't think it's historical. I don't think that boxing as itself has much relevance to the earlier stuff. I think a lot of wrestling styles do. I don't really think freestyle wrestling has much relevance. I don't consider freestyle wrestling to be a historical European martial art because of the rule sets that have grown up around it and evolved over time and created it into this, this sportified uh, system. But something like Catcher's Catch can is much, much easier to see as a historical European martial art because the rules are much simpler and they reflect the rules as they used to be hundreds of years ago. So, in answer to your question, Sir Jeffs, yes, I consider boxing to be a Western martial art. No, I don't consider it to be a historical European martial art. Uh, what do you think? Obviously, this is a, a topic that's uh, debatable. Um, if it wasn't, this would have been a much shorter video. So, let me know what you think. I'd be very interested. And um, I hope to hear from you. Take care.